there, everybody. It's uh, week 34, at the end of week 34, I should say. And uh, it was a good week of training. And uh, I want you to meet my uh, my buddy here, Paisano. Yeah, I'm a cat lover. This is uh, Paisano. He's um, Paisano is Italian for uh, good buddy. So, yeah, he's my little buddy. And uh, say hi. Say hi, Paisano. Say hi. That's a 3D Muscle Journey cat. He's a kind of a mascot, I guess you could say. I'm just gonna go ahead and give him my report for week 34. Uh, the weight was had a low this week of 169.4, actually 168.4. Then I had gone up a, a pound, and then uh, since then, I since my big refeed, you know, my, my uh, famous 800 gram carb refeeds. I went up four pounds from that, and I'm back down to 172. So, uh, actually, 171.6 today. So it's going down. So by Wednesday morning, I'll probably more than likely see a see a, a new low. So I'll just go ahead and keep my my low days to 170 protein carbs. I actually lowered them down to about 240 instead of 250, and fats are 225 to 30. So um things are looking good on the on the diet front um cardio wise i'm doing probably around anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours a day uh the two hours is usually i break that up into 60 minutes in the morning 60 minutes at night and that's list and um <clears throat> it's not pretty strange it's just on my stationary bike so that's going pretty good uh training wise uh strength is still progressing um I'm able to increase most lifts. Um, as far as power days, it's struggling a little bit on my squats. Um, bench press struggling a little bit, but as far as all the other movements, um, yeah, it's actually improving or staying about the same. So, no strength loss. So, doing good there. And uh, yes, Paisan, I see you. Yes, I see you. I know. Yep, you're my buddy. We know. We know you're the buddy. So. Um, so yeah, things are looking really good, and uh, visually I'm looking better. Um, as far as other things I've been doing this week, as you know, I'm starting vlogging, and it's different. It's a challenge, but kind of easier than writing. Um, instead of you know taking a couple hours to write out something, it's taking five minutes to five to six minutes of talking much easier so I'll probably be doing that quite often now um, another project I had going is uh, the posing vlog I was doing for the posing series um, go ahead I actually filmed a couple tips so I'll be having that coming out pretty quick here so that's one thing I'm working on and, and I think eventually over you know weeks time I'll have more and more uh, posing series coming out more more uh, we should say articles, I guess, or blogs for it. So I'll be doing that. So I just want to talk about I'm actually four weeks out from my first show of the year, NPC Central Valley Classics here in uh, Modesto, which is not too far from my house, actually. So kind of a good show to do. It's local. It's uh, 10, 15 minutes away. So. A lot of friends and family are going to be able to get to go, so that's important. Um, as far as you know, the meaning behind the show, as far as winning and things like that, not too important for me. Um, it's not a qualifier or anything like that, so it's just more to have fun and have a good time and uh, share it with some family and friends. Um, my older brother Paul is going to be doing that show, and um, it's going to give us a, a chance to uh, share the stage once again. We haven't done a show together since 2004, so I'm really looking forward to doing that with them. Uh, we're both going to be in the Masters, so it's first time for me being a Master now that I'm 40. Ooh, so, wow, can't believe that. But, yeah, so we'll be able to get to share the stage there, and then I'm, I'm going to be doing the Open Division as well, probably middleweight. Um, so, yeah, it should be a good time. Uh, another reason I'm doing this show is just uh, I've dedicated this season to my stepfather Tim, who has been battling cancer since uh, December of 2010. So, 
he's actually been doing a lot better as of late, so that's good. And uh, I'm pretty much dedicating my routine to him, my season. So he's going to be able to get to come down from Oregon to see me compete. So there's a lot of a lot of emotional reasonings behind this show, so it's more for sentimental reasons. So I'm really looking forward to getting up there and uh, doing that uh, routine for him. I've been uh, working on it pretty much, I would say, four to five times a week. And I run through it like three or four times. So just trying to polish it off. And uh, hopefully it comes across pretty good. Um, so that first show, that's that's pretty much the goals and, and where my expectations are. Um, the next show is going to be four weeks later. Um, that's going to be in Kansas, and that's going to be my first natural pro show, and that's the IFPA Pro International. Expectations for that, again, I mean, there's going to be so many good guys there that, I mean, I'll just be happy just to get on stage and share it with those guys. Um, I get to share it with uh, my teammates, Alberto and uh, Brad, so we're all going to be on the stage together at the same time, same weight class, or same, yeah, probably same weight class, so. That's going to be pretty exciting. So, uh, just just having those guys to share that experience with is probably going to be the most exciting thing. So, I mean, whether you know win, lose, you know, place last, it's not going to matter. I mean, I'm just going to have so much fun. It's not even, that's all that's going to matter. Um, and like Berto said, looking forward to the barbecue. Heard great things about uh, Kansas barbecue. So, that's one good thing. Um, but yeah, um, if I if I place uh, high enough to to do the Yorton Cup, then I will just keep going to the Yorton Cup. Um, if not, then we still have a show. I think it's two or three weeks later in uh, Hayward, California, which is the NPC San Francisco. And uh, that show again is not really about placings. It's more about that's going to be an opportunity for Team 3DMJ, all four of us, on the same stage at the same time in the same weight class so just getting pictures of all four of us on stage together that's pretty much priceless and uh, sharing that experience with with the whole team uh, I mean that's gonna be awesome as well so this season has been one of my most enjoyable seasons and I've been doing this since 1993 and the only other times I could say that I probably had a lot more fun was when I competed with my two older brothers at the same time. Uh, we did a show together in 1998 where we're on the stage at the stage all at the same time. Yeah, that's my cat. Sorry, he's, he's got the sniffles. But anyway, yeah, we shared the same the same stage, same time. So that's probably the the most memorable moment I've had in bodybuilding was was sharing the stage with my brothers at the same time. So. Having 3DMJ, you know, this year, all four of us is, is close to that. Um, and then, like I said, this show coming up in four weeks with my my other my brother Paul, that's going to be right up there. So it's been a great year, and it's it's just been great not focusing on winning. I mean, I can't. Just my early years of competing was so focused on winning and placing high, and I just kind of just you just lose your journey you lose that touch if you lose the everyday feeling the excitement of it because you're just stressing yourself out by by trying to be you know the most shredded guy trying to be the biggest guy trying to win and then when you you don't win it's kind of a disappointment and then you kind of question yourself and you know the first thing that comes to your mind after a show is I gotta train harder you know instead of really taking in and enjoying what you just accomplished whether you place first last third fourth I mean, I try not to let seven or eight judges dictate my enjoyment for the sport. So that's how I kind of look at things now, uh, more just for personal satisfaction, trying to enjoy each day as I prep. And I try not to take it as so seriously. I'm, I'm just trying to have fun. So that's the main thing I, I'm trying to do now. So, but anyway, that's kind of how I'm feeling this week as far as, uh, what my plans are for the next three or four shows and um, yeah so I hope you enjoy some of these highlight clips I'm gonna post up here for the week as far as my training and uh, so yeah um, look for more future blogs I think probably I'll use this format you know 
for a while now instead of writing. Writing does take a long time to do, so it's a little bit easier and actually a little more fun. And I think people are, uh, I think people took to the first one pretty well. So okay. So now that I rambled for a good ten minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, post up some of my week's highlights and some of the other stuff that I did as far as training. So hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm 40 years old, so I do listen to 80s music from time to time. Actually, lately I've been on an 80s kick. So today's workout, I'm going to work out to 80s music. So all you younger people, sorry for the 80s stuff, but hey. This next clip is uh, me working some hams, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm being kind of a ham. Um, pun intended, I guess. gonna do it for this vlog uh, week 34 vlog it's a uh, quite a long one I hope uh, I didn't bore you too much I think uh, in the future we're gonna cut these down quite a bit as far as time wise but hope you enjoyed it and uh, until my next vlog keep training hard smart and active